Welcome to TechieJack. In this video, we will see how to configure smart host to send email to other domain. You might have seen sometimes when you send an email directly to Gmail, Yahoo or Outlook.com, emails are rejected due to no SPF, DMARC or DKIM record configured in your DNS server or your IP is blacklisted. So here we are going to use the Turbo SMTP as a smart host to send our outgoing emails and will disable the primary send connector we have created earlier. So let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and if we go to the admin email, you can see I have sent an email to Gmail and I have received this mxgoogle.com rejected your message to the following email address. I do not have a SPF and a DKIM record or maybe my IP is in a blacklisted. So that's why I received this message. In order to overcome with this, I have signed up with the Turbo SMTP. You can see their plans. If I scroll it down, they are providing these service and you can send 6000 email per month for free. If we go and click it, it will ask you for the registration. You need to register your email and your name with this Turbo SMTP. Once it is registered, it will send you the details. I have already registered and let's try to log into this Turbo SMTP. You can see the dashboard is this. On the daily basis, you can send 200 emails per day. And if you want to connect with the SMTP, you can see the SMTP server name, authentication, ports, username and the password. And with the DNS record, you have the SPF record and the DKIM record here. You have to configure these record in your public domain. So I have a domain with the GoDaddy and I will try to configure this record with our GoDaddy. So let's try to log in to the GoDaddy account. And this is the domain that is testingo.in. And I will go to the DNS and I will copy this SPF record and will create a new text record in the GoDaddy. Here you can see the text record and inside the name I will type at the rate and the SPF record and you have to click on save. And same way we have to configure this DKIM record. So I will create the text record and the name is turbo smtp domain key and the value I will copy it from here and will paste it here and then click on save. So now the DNS record has been successfully created. We have to create the send connector now. So we will go to the mail flow inside the send connector. This is our primary default connector we have created earlier. I will disable this and we will create a new connector and I will name it as a pro turbo smtp.com and you have to select the custom and click on next instead of MX record I will use route mail through the smart host and we will add the smart host this will provide it by the smart host so I will click on save click on next and here you have to select the basic authentication and you have to check this the username and the password will be provided by the Turbo SMTP when you will sign up. So I have the username and password. Let me put that and will click on next. Now in the address space, I will type the star here to send email to all domain. Let me click on next again. And here I will select my server that is ex01. Click OK and finish. So now we have disabled our old send connector and enable the smart host connector. So now we will try to send an email to the Gmail. So let's log in with the new user that is Ram and I'll put the password. So let's try to create a new mail to the Gmail. I will select my Gmail address and let's type the text after configuring Turbo SMTP and let's try to send it to the Gmail. So mail has been sent now. Let's go to the Gmail and you can see the mail is inside the gmail inbox the mail we received inside the gmail inbox if we see the original you can see the spf and dkim both record has been passed so we have successfully configured the smart host and received the email in the inbox of our gmail if we go back to our dashboard you can see the total two emails are there i have sent it earlier so if i refresh it now you can see the total emails are three and it will show you the stat as well. You can see the email has been opened, sent to the Gmail and this was the subject and the sender was Ram. So it will show you analytic as well. So I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.